Okay, so a chemical reaction, as we, we have seen above, involves the rearrangement of atoms to form new molecules. There's actually certain rules that we have to follow for chemical reactions. The first one, atoms are not created or destroyed during the reaction. So a chemical reaction can also be represented by a chemical equation, which will indicate the number of different molecules used and produced in the reaction. The number of atoms of each type before and after the reaction have to be equal. Let's look at an example. We have nitrogen plus hydrogen. It gives you ammonia. So let me write here. Okay, from here we can tell that on the left side of the equation, there's two atoms of nitrogen, while the right side of the equation, there's only one atom of nitrogen. So what we have to do is we have to balance the equation by putting a number 2 in front of ammonia so that there will be two nitrogen on the right side of the equation now. But as we write the number 2, you realize that there's now six hydrogen atoms on the right side, but the left side only have two hydrogen atoms. So what we can do is we should write in the number three in front of hydrogen so that you can balance out the number of hydrogen, six hydrogen on the left and six hydrogen on the right now. Okay, so end up the chemical equation will be this, N2 plus three H2, it will give you two NH3. On the left, there's going to be two atoms of nitrogen, same as the right. And on the left, there's six atoms of hydrogen, same as the right. So this is called a balanced chemical equation.